Hello, Fear the Meerkat here, welcome to another episode of Black Sprite Legend of Zelda Awful Seasons. Unfortunately, I'm restarting this from here because I made a mistake and um, didn't actually record uh, some of the footage. But um, that's okay because if I restart, it's actually quite useful since I now know what to do. I'm just not hit pretty keen on doing it again. This is actually a slightly disappointing uh, uh, puzzle here uh, compared to some of the moving objects puzzles in the previous dungeon. I didn't like the previous dungeon much. Uh, I I just found a lot of it quite sort of hard, basically. I found some of it hard. Might as well admit that no, there was nothing uh, there was nothing in that water. I'm just going to stay here and wait for these things to come down here. Now, maybe I don't need to wait for both of them. I think I probably will have to kill at least one of these things. Okay. Oh, those things, by the way, are insubstantial part of the time, and when they're insubstantial, or you can just see their hat. You can't actually hurt them. And this is quite annoying. It's just a matter of staying out of the way of those things that can't be killed. Which is annoying and awkward. Also, we're obviously not going to have to deal with it right now, but that thing with the eye that just sort of laser beams, shoots laser beams in your direction. In case you couldn't guess. That's quite tricky to do. Uh, you don't really need to light that thing because you can just about see your way around here and lighting it doesn't actually do anything other than making it easier to see where you're going. So I'd advise you to not waste time. Also the light only stays for a few seconds so it's not really worth it. I will see you in a minute once I get into a room I haven't been into before. By the way, if you go in this uh, minecart and you accidentally hit that lever, then you are basically screwed. Because the only way to go uh, down is by hitting that lever like that. 
from the right. If you hit it from below, then uh, you're you're gonna fail. You're gonna die. So. Things you pick up often give you a clue as to what you're going to have to do in a minute. So, uh, those things kind of pop around like that. It's very annoying. There are things that are more annoying. Anything that you can't heart sweet kill is annoying. Heart sweet, I think you might have been introduced to those things before. In which case, I'm sorry for saying something that I probably already said. But I was hoping to get that with, uh, with this. Okay, perhaps I can't do that here. And of course, I'm virtually dead, because why weren't I be? Okay, there's probably something I have to do that I haven't thought of. Oh, right. Perhaps not. Okay, I'm just not sure what to do with it now, because surely I've gone into every room I can go into. I, uh, I suppose I'm going to have to search for somewhere I haven't been into before. See you in a sec. Ah! Okay, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. Okay, I know what I was supposed to do there, and I failed miserably. If that hadn't failed miserably, that would have gone really, really well. I'm not saying that this isn't hard as well. Of course it is. Okay, I've got a feeling I know what you have to do here, but I might as well confirm it. Oh, I thought that if you found the cracks, it would, uh, you would fall, went on the cracks, but no, uh, you don't, that's good. So now you are going to definitely need those uh, Pegasus things at some point, though. Well, I am not killing all of the things in this room, so there we go. It's probably all what that owl is probably going to tell me that the thing that just happened will happen, but since I'm not running out of these seeds, and you might say something else, Yeah, I because I could have gotten to this uh, this dungeon easily uh, without knowing that, which is something I had to know in the previous dungeon in order to be able to complete it.
Well, it looks like that's just back down to where we've already gone, so... Okay, this is not going to be easy. I suspect I can in second. Okay, look, I'm gonna be using save files. I'm sorry, but I am. So there we go. It's just not worth it if I don't. Aha! Well, that was long, but at least it was difficult. And that boss showed me why you should never fight the mini boss with that my heart. So though, to be fair, I'm not quite sure how I could have known it was the mini boss in this room, but yeah, that's that that. Right, basically you can only attack it when both of those things are lit. Um, the real one has shadow and the other ones don't, but if you can see the shadow and uh, one of them's lit but the other one isn't, then as far as I can tell you can't attack him, even though that makes logic no logical sense, because you can still see his uh, shadow. Anyway, while these two are lit, you can see the one with the shadow, and the one with the shadow is the one that you have to attack. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, end the episode there. I will see you next time.